What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So today I've got a really awesome men's haircut lined up for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a French crop. That is a uh, pretty cool trending haircut. It's got a nice sharp bang, but tons of texture popped into it. So I know you guys are gonna like it. I also use my brand new tool. This is the Tri Razor by Free Salon Education. So if you guys haven't picked up a Tri Razor, make sure you go to our online store, Shop FSE. Uh, that's Shop Free Salon Education. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, you can pick up a Tri Razor. It's $44.95. It's one of the most fun tools ever to cut with. I'll show you guys how to use it at the end of this cup. I'm gonna walk you guys through this whole entire haircut step by step. If at any point you're watching this video and you're thinking, man, I like this video, can you please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you get an alert anytime I post a video. I got tons of videos like this coming out all of the time. So let's get into the technique. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off by sectioning. Uh, sectioning's pretty simple. We're just gonna separate the top and the bottom. And I like to work that right around that parietal ridge area. So where the head curves up to the top and it kind of separates from side to top, that's where you're gonna section it off. I'm also using the uh, FSE Velcro clips. You can see how easy it holds the hair over. Now I'm gonna go in with my clipper. I'm using the Andis Master Clipper. This is the new cordless version. Uh, and I'm using a one and a half guard to start. I don't wanna take the edges too short or the sides too short, but what I do is I kind of rock the clipper out right at that occipital bone area, right above the temple. And then I work through clipper over comb. This is kind of my go-to technique. For me, I'm not a barber. I don't do really tight fades that often in the salon, but I do haircuts like this all day long. Uh, I've got a 90% male clientele at this point in my career. So I love men's hair. I work through it. I use clipper over comb uh, as a staple technique of mine. And then I detail everything with scissor over comb after. So you'll see, I kind of elevate that comb at about a 45 degree angle off of the head. And then I'll go in and just do some fine tuning detail work using my blacksmith fit scissor. Um, this is by Mizutani. It's a six and a half inch blade. Love that length for scissor over comb work. If you're looking to upgrade your scissors, if you want to get the Velcro clips, anything that you see me using on this video, you can pick it up on shop FSC, which is our online store. Now I go in with some texturizing. Now I use a texturizing scissor uh, really just to soften the outer perimeter of my lines. So just to soften, not to go in and, and try to remove too much weight or try to hide things. You're really using that texturizing scissor just to soften the edge, which gives you a softer effect. It's also great for thick hair to just kind of allow it to lay a little bit softer and grow out a little bit better. So now we're gonna work into the top. This is where the magic happens. You get that fade done. And now I saturate the hair, work through it, and we're gonna start off in that calic area. So what I do is I assess where does that calic wanna fall? How does the hair wanna move and grow out of the head? And then that's exactly how I cut it. There's no reason to force hair to do something that it doesn't wanna do. So you can see all the angles that I'm taking from behind the ear all the way around to the other ear, it's all gonna be really dictated on that calic and how it's shooting out of the head. If they have two calics, do the same exact thing. Just kind of work off of that calic and let the hair, again, do exactly what it wants to do. Now, we're gonna work through the top. I'm gonna start off by cutting a guideline uh, parallel to the floor, and we're gonna work our way across. Now, this is where I really want you guys to pay attention to the pattern that I'm doing as I work across the head. I want a traveling guide all the way towards the front. So basically what I do is I take section two, pull it back to one. Then I take section three, pull it back to two. Section four, back to three, and kind of work my way towards the front. Then when I get to the front, all of this is coming straight up off of the head, not too much over direction, because I'm not trying to push too much length into the front and then I go through and I blow dry to really see the texture feel how thick the hair looks see where it's bulky and then this is now how I'm gonna go in and really start to customize this haircut what takes a good haircut and makes it great is the tiny little details that you put into it that little extra that you go about it I'm obsessed right now about what my clients hair looks like three weeks after I cut it not just the initial day right so we're gonna go in we're taking our Mizutani Yuragi 6 scissor cuts about 20 30 percent of the hair and I just use that to cut some of the blunt lines because it's gonna it's gonna cut them blunt but it's gonna make them soft so you can see the soft edge that we get with it working those details through sliding the scissor through the fringe now using the tip of my regular cutting scissor my precision scissor and working through that now you see that blunt line coming in now here's the tri razor this is where we get to have some fun guys so I take a section parallel to the wall I put my velcro clip in and I just slide that 25 
that texture side, cuts 25% of the hair, starts really popping in texture. You guys will see it uh, in a second as I start to style this up. Do the same thing here, parallel to the wall. Now we're in the fringe area. So look how I slide that 25 texture in and I piece it in different little areas throughout the head and it just creates this really cool movement and texture. Look how it's already popping through. So it was so bland and boring before and now we're really seeing it come to life. So imagine uh, being able to take product and just throw it in there and it makes the style happen. Too often, we're trying to use product to hide uh, things in a haircut or to make it do something that it doesn't want to do. If you cut the hair right, the product's just an addition. It just really is the accent to a great haircut. So now we're going to go in. Speaking of product, using Mitch uh, by Paul Mitchell. This is the Reformer. It's got a really nice matte finish, firm hold, and look at all that texture, guys. Uh, I just love it. I'll show you guys the highlighting technique uh, one of these days coming up as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. I uh, hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I hope you love it as much as I do. Can't wait to show you guys another video real soon. Uh, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So one last thing, I'm gonna give away a tri razor to one of you lucky subscribers out there. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, follow it if you're on Facebook or Instagram, and just write follow or subscribe in the comments, and I'll pick one of you guys, one of you lucky uh, subscribers out there to win a tri razor. So good luck.